my name is Tony Oxley. I'm the Apprentice Assessor Trainer for Hospitality and Catering here at Milton Keynes College. So my role is I look after the apprentices, uh, the apprentices that are working out within the industry. Uh, my background in industry is I started out when I went to college. I went to college for three years in Coventry and I joined the industry at a very early at young age of 18 and I've worked with a small independent chain of restaurants and hotels. And from there, within 20 years, I worked myself up to being a head chef and director of a small chain of hotels. And how the course runs is that you will attend college one day a week, where there will be a four hour skill session within the kitchen with myself, where I will actually demonstrate dishes and then you go away and prepare it and cook it. And from that skill session, what you're doing is that you're evaluating what you're doing and how you're preparing it, what went well, what didn't go so well, and even better if. And then there are some theory to side behind the apprenticeship programme as well, because how it's broken down is, is into knowledge, skills and behaviours. So knowledge I always say is the college, skills and behaviours you're going to learn within the workplace. So it's one day a week at college and then four days a week with your um, employer. So for example, we've been to Billingsgate Market and that's where we start at 3 a.m. in the morning to travel down to London to go to the fish market there where we'll learn about buying fish, the quality of fish. We will also do some skills in preparing fish and cooking it as well. Uh, we have contacts within the industry as well. So for example, I took my apprentices down to London a couple of months ago and we had a tour of Tom Kerridge's Bar and Grill at the Corinthia Hotel. And also we had a kitchen tour of the Ritz as well. The people that inspired me to become a chef, and this is a lot of people, and probably a lot of chefs within the industry as well, is my grandmother. And my grandmother made the best cottage pie, and always when she made it, we had cabbage, and I had it with mint sauce. So if that was ever going to be my last dish that I could ever eat, I would definitely say my grandmother's cottage pie with the boiled cabbage as well.